Okay, so Dartmoor. Been here what? 20 minutes? And it's. Uh, it's just, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but it's just started snowing. <laughs> There's Jay. There's Rob getting himself sorted. And this Matt's motor with all his new fancy kit. And um, we've even got some pussy. <laughs> oh, mate, I'll be happy. <laughs> I didn't bother bringing my SJ in the end, I just thought I'd bring just my phone. Water's going to take a long time if we keep stopping to film. <laughs> oh, yes. Beautiful blue sky. The, uh, the snow and the rain is kind of on and off, I think. And you see a bit cloudy there, and then beautiful blue sky there. So. Hopefully it won't hit us too bad and we can stay out all weekend. I love the, the sound of, yeah, yeah. of water like that when it's like running. See, I'd set up the tent here. Or the back up and just sleep here almost. It is making me need a piss though. Hello, Hello. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Little kit. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. That's a good idea. Just getting Jay going up this hill. I'll try and get him falling over. <laughs> well, see if you can get me falling over. I'll probably do. <laughs> I'll take it for going this way, are we? Yes, we are. No, we're just letting Jay get up there, then we're going that way. <laughs> We are, we are all over taking camera today, mate. Yeah. It's fucking cold, isn't it? It's been moving in. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming now, Jason. Here it comes. Here it comes, look, it's coming out. Yeah, path there, look. It looks like, hey. Matt could have brought the land here, we could have just driven it. <laughs> Guys. And then I've got my um, seat, seat Got a brew on the go. Jay's over there doing the same. That's Rob in front of me, just there. And then just over there, you could just see him the other side of Jay's mat, tiny outdoors. And that is going to be my view for the morning when I wake up, if it's not foggy. <laughs> Um, as for where we are, we think this is Steepleton Tor and the other side of us is Metherall Hill, I think it's called. So, just jump out of here without kicking the stove over and show you the setups. So that's me in the Vango. It's an, I haven't shown this yet, it's a new bit of kit. So, it's a Vango. Spirit 200, which is very similar to Rob's Force 10 Nitro Light 200 Plus. Rob's has just got this extra little section on there, and it weighs a hell of a lot less than mine. There's Jay and his new MSR. 
all, all toasty in there. That's him for the night. <laughs> And then there's Matt in his Van Gogh in the Banshee. And uh, just in this little valley, we're actually up on high ground away from that, which is our water source. So we shouldn't get any surprises in the night. If this valley fills up with water, then we're in real trouble, but I can't see it myself. Tomorrow's adventures take us in that direction towards, um, I think it's called Coston Beacon, which has got a, an ancient stone circle. So I'll just step you back and show you all the, all the boys and their setups. Here we are. Ladders are just hunkered down a bit because the uh, weather's coming in. It's currently sort of half, half snowing, half raining. It doesn't really know what it wants to do, to be honest. So, uh, so yeah. This is us nutters for the night. I'm going to meet you a bit later because I've just had a, a bit of a snack. And uh, yeah, I think I should sleep well tonight after the after the miles we did. Not we haven't done a great deal, a great deal of um, mileage-wise, but it's probably about probably about four or five miles. It's not much, um, but as I say, that's down there is where we've come from, and it was uh, tough <laughs> tough going in some places. We didn't quite stick to our our. our sort of proposed route we did but not the pathways so uh, unfortunately we didn't film crossing this little um, little sort of river that's running through here that was eventful we couldn't film because it was quite a quite a big possibility that someone would go in so Matt went across first and helped a few of us over and Jay just Jay just manned up and did it on his own so uh, so yeah we should bring you back later guys What's up? That's a plain nose. It's like a curtain nose. It's a curtain nose. And this is exactly the reason I wanted to come to Dartmoor. just absolutely stunning even in bad weather cold like really cold as well minus I think minus two at the minute but in with wind chill it's something like minus eight or something silly so morning people right so um Saturday morning, yeah, Saturday morning. Let's just turn this off. Um, wind picked up last night and it rained sort of on and off all night, but everyone's dry, so that's good. Um, everyone's just getting their breakfast on. I've got porridge, We're just going for it. Um, today's plan is to, we want to be out of here by about 10 o'clock and and walking. We've got a, a bit further to go today. I think it's about 10k or something. It's not massive, but a few more miles in this stuff. I think we did six kilometres yesterday. My app I'm using records in kilometres, so I'll have to try and annotate miles in or something. Um, yeah, hopefully, if the weather holds off, uh, somebody may be joining us this, this, this afternoon slash evening. So, I shall bring you back once we're all packed down and uh, on the move. Cheers, guys. Matt and Rob doing the water run using Rob's cation. That was what we woke up to this morning. There's Jay going for another fill up of water. 
Um, this is where all our tents were, as you can see. The other one's packed up. No trace left. That's my bag. The, the Osprey Aether 70, courtesy of John Carlo 195. Um, ever so grateful for that, mate. And then there's the other two Ospreys and Matt's Van Gogh. And as I said, when I first got up, the weather last night turned a bit. We had rain pretty much all night, sleet. Um, yeah, it wasn't wasn't the best to be fair. But um, I don't know if you can see these actually. One sec. Those markers. There's one there, one there, one there. They do disappear. There's one. There, that's it. What they are, they mark the um, the edge of the range that the military use for for live fire. So obviously we were just outside, not just inside of that range, because we didn't want to get shot. Really, never good fun when you go camping and get shot. So yeah, so today we're going that way. Not that you can see much in the video, but that's the way we're headed. And we shall bring you back when something interesting happens. And then just in the distance you might just be able to pick out his green pack. Just there. Here's Rob. And we're now on top of Cosden Beacon or Cosden Hill, I think it's called. Cosden Beacon on my map. But I've done some Googling, it's been called Cosden Hill or Beacon. top of Cosden Beacon. That's the, that's the beacon Cosden. there. Cosden, yeah. You probably can't hear me because it's a bit windy. But there's, there's cans. Ha <laughs> 
Lovely. Are we doing, Rob? You right? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Good. It's good. It has been quite treacherous at times, you're right. Thanks for coming, lads. Thanks for coming. It's been excellent, and it's not over yet, so... <laughs> that view looks lovely now the sun's come out. I took a picture of it about 20 minutes ago, it looked crap. Now the sun's out, it looks lovely. <laughs> Okay then guys, so yeah, <laughs> Jay's finally taken his head off because it stopped being so windy. Um, right, so this is kind of roughly the area that we decided we were going to do the second night camp. Uh, we got here and just there is the cars and more importantly a pub. <laughs> so the second night looks like it's been scrapped off. We've done all the tours we wanted to do, we've done our proposed route. So we're just gonna we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna go to the pub. Have a birthday drink for Have a you. birthday beer that I've got to buy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh even we've even got a little sheep coming to talk to us. So I, I may tag a few pictures from the boozer on the end of the video, but this will be it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it as much as us boys have enjoyed being being out here. It's Jay talking to a sheep as usual. You've scared it off, Jay. You've scared it off. <laughs>